Hi, hello. Facing your former team today, what kind of emotions come along with that for you? Um, yeah, I mean, listen, there's a lot of, there's emotions, I'm not going to kid you, I'm human. Um, a lot of years, a lot of really good years, a lot of gratitude uh, for my time in St. Louis. Um, a lot of tremendous relationships, uh, a lot of growth took place there, a lot of off the field, personal, you know, professional growth. Um, owe a lot to a lot of people in that organization. So, um, you know, I can't say enough about, you know, my 18 years there and, you know, did everything I could to reward the uh, confidence they had and give me the opportunities. And, um, but you know what, I'm in a great spot here. Um, I love San Diego. The last three years have been home. They treated me very, very well here as the organization. The city's been phenomenal. Clubhouse has been tremendous. Um, so San Diego's home now, and it's it's part of my very bright future. Now you had the opportunity to be around some of MLB's best and Arenado and Goldschmidt. What did you take away from just the way that they approached their day to day? Yeah, um, that was another good fortune about the, the time in St. Louis. Been around a lot of historically good Hall of Fame caliber players. Um, some of which were retired, you know, Mr. Gibson and Mr. Brock and Mr. Shane Deist and Mr. Musual and, of course, guys like George Kissel on the um, instructional side, Tony Russo, you know, one of the second most games of anybody in Major League Baseball history. So, around a lot of those guys and some really great players, Albert, Yachty, um, now you mentioned Goldie and, and um, Nolan, you know, clearly good players, um, you know, very gifted baseball players, but also very sincere in how they compete and how they do the little things well to um, play the game well so you know it's a blessing to be able to be a part of a very small part of their careers it's been really fun to watch jackson merrill and grand Pauly, especially just because they came up through the minors together and they are so close what have you observed uh, just about the energy that they've brought to this clubhouse yeah good for them you know guys are coming up and i love how they're going about it yeah, they're just going and being themselves playing free playing aggressively enjoying it you know um I just think that's fantastic. They can come up in this environment and just go play and uh, let their ability, which is clearly um, on display, you know, just shine. And I appreciate the veteran guys being welcoming, welcoming them as well. You know, our clubhouse, you know, you talk about some of the guys earlier with Nolan and Goldie. You know, we've got some good players over here, too, that um, have been really good about helping these younger players shepherd them, showing them the way, being good stewards for the game, passing along their wisdom, knowledge, and um, making sure that they can give them the best chance of being the best version of themselves. So, you know, Manny, Toddy, Bogey, Crony, you, Darvish, um, Joe, all these guys have been fantastic with their younger players. Are you different as a manager, having gone through the last few years, but also having seen another organization from a different vantage point? Yeah, there's a question I've gotten a lot, you know, how you different? Um, you know, I still want to win. Um, still, still the principles that, that take place and what the preparation looks like, attention to detail. Um, you know, that that's that hasn't changed. You know, you, you do have a different lens. You look at the game differently after two years. You know, continue to figure out a best way to present the information um, to everybody involved. You know, but it's still baseball. You show up and you play the game clean. You play the game right. You play the game to not give anything away and and compete, you know, you give yourself the best chance to shake hands in the game. So um, that part really hadn't changed. When you were in, you were in a better place for this job, I think is how you put it. The, you know, and I'm wondering if that also meant you had the feel of a better manager. Yeah, you know, I don't. That's a good question, Derek. I, I don't have the greatest answer maybe for you. Um, I'm in a good place. Uh, you know, I landed in a great spot. I landed. Um, in a place, like I said, I've been really well taken care of here. I've been accepted here. I've been utilized here. You know, clearly, you know, now the opportunity to manage. Um, but, you know, the skill sets that I bring and the, the um, appreciation for how to compete and play the game, prepare and teach the game has been has been very well received here. I'm very grateful to A.J. Preller and the Padre organization for, you know, finding a place that, you know, and going back to Mr. Seidler, Peter Seidler was, you know, tremendous to me, treated me like absolute gold, um, you know, sat me down, you know, it was really the deciding factor coming to this organization when I realized that the owner was going to be intentional about, you know, really sincerely talking to me about how the game worked, about having bigger picture conversations, and, you know, occasionally we talked about baseball. And um, so it just felt right, and they treated me well, and then uh, it's a good fit for me, and 
like I said, the guys here have been nothing but fantastic. The staff's great, and you know it's just a really good situation for me. And Kim mentioned that Profar addressed the team before the game, and then there's this offensive explosion. Can you just speak to what sort of leadership and that that Profar brings to this team, even with all the veteran voices you guys do have? Yeah, no. Listen, I'm glad that um, you know we have we have a lot of good voices, a lot of good experience, a lot of good leadership off in our clubhouse, veteran leadership. By the way, it's Profar's tenth year of service day. So that's quite an accomplishment. You know, it's, uh, you know, about 10% of guys that sign a major league or minor league contract, professional contract, get to the big leagues, and 10% get 10 years. So it's, um, it's a very select club, you know, around 2,300 in the history of the game. So when you have guys speak up like that, you know, I won't get in the message. It wasn't like a, you know, it was just a, we meet every day. So it wasn't like a big meeting. He just spoke up and said, hey, you know, we competed very well regardless of circumstance and that's what good teams do and I thought it was a great message.